Hi friends, in this video we will discuss about the free fall uh, falling of a drop onto a heated plate and uh, the two important properties which need to be included in any CFT software in order to capture the physics of this falling droplet uh, accurately. One is uh, the dynamic contact angle which is called theta d and other is the adhesion force. So these two are the points which need to be included in any of the CFT softwares for the accurate prediction of the physics of the falling drop. So now theta d is the contact angle between the two phases as you can see here. So this is a liquid phase and this is a gas phase. So in the gas phase it may be air plus vapor or any other uh, gas. So that is the angle theta d and theta d is given by Kisler as theta d is equals to Hoffman function f h of is called Hoffman function right so and theta equivalent you can see this theta equivalent is nothing but this entire function you can see on the screen right this is the theta equivalent which we will try to represent so with respect to these we should be able to calculate this theta d which is a dynamic contact angle which will always change with respect to ca which is you can see here ca that is capillary number and a capillary number is dynamic viscosity into uh, line velocity where it is contact line velocity we will call it as a ucl ucl we will call it as a contact line velocity divided by surface tension as the contact line velocity is the velocity at the point where the liquid and uh, liquid have a contact with the wall so it will continuously change it is not a constant so as it continuously changes capillary number also changes as the capillary number changes dynamic contact angle is a function of capillary number so again dynamic contact angle also will change where x is the distance uh, from the point or this is the x this distance is x so this is also will change with respect to the time as it progresses and the other point is adhesion force as we all know if anything move forward with respect to the wall so there is a backward or retarding force and that retarding force we will call it as a friction when it is, comes to solid and in this fluid we will try to call it as adhesion force so that adhesion force relation you can see on the screen which is sigma or the surface tension into cos of theta equivalent minus cos of theta dynamic into r divided by volume of the cell so r is nothing but the distance from the center and v is the volume of the cell what we will mesh so this is very important uh, and these two we need to uh, use an udf or a user defined function in ansys fluent in order to incorporate in our simulation so we will try to check the udf how exactly it will look so now we can see the UDF here. So I have divided this into three parts. So first one is the property which is called saturation temperature property. How uh, the saturation temperature uh, for water and vapor it will varies with respect to the saturation pressure. So that is clearly mentioned. You can defer my previous video also where I have clearly explained the saturation temperature concept. And the other point is here is the draw define edges for each iteration we will try to invoke this define edges and it will calculate our capillary number you can see here this is the capillary number so we'll try to calculate the capillary number and the capillary number is a function of a velocity and that velocity you can see here vi is equals to c underscore u c naught comma tw so where tw is the water uh, phase thread and u is the x direction velocity as you can see in our simulation we are trying to find the droplet which is freely falling will have only x direction contact velocity it doesn't have any other direction contact velocity so that is the reason why i have simplified and have taken only x direction velocity that is c underscore u right so then uh, if va is greater than zero so if the center line or contact line velocity is greater than zero so this will be our dynamic contact angle as you can see right so this all terms what you can seeing on the screen theta is equal to ca plus 0 0.326144 and all this stuff what you will see on the screen is nothing but this equation right 
and the other part when you come to know uh, so that is the source term what you are trying to find or the dynamic contact angle so you can see here so that we will assign as a source so this will be assigned as a source in order to find that uh, contact angle uh, and that will be given to our f underscore udmi comma f comma thread comma 2 so then you just if you can just go down you can see that has been assigned to our contact angle set profile so this is the profile what we will try to assign to our dynamic contact angle similarly we will try to calculate if vi is less than 0 if the contact line is less than 0 then what happens so this is all the udf stuff what we are trying to use so that is the source again so that source will be assigned again to the contact angle set profile because that is f underscore udma underscore f comma t comma 2 so when it is greater than 0 there will be one profile if it is less than 0 another profile if it is equal to 0 then there is no angle I mean there is no dynamic contact angle that is 0 because there is no profile and other point what we need to take is x momentum source you can see the x momentum source I have already taken here so that is here you can see that x momentum source term this is the x momentum source the x momentum source is nothing but the adhesion force so it adhesion force how i considered is so as you can see adhesion force is a retardation force when it if anything move in one direction so the obviously the adhesion force would be in the opposite direction so instead of giving this opposite direction force on to the water drop so i have removed the velocity which is just adjacent to the wall so if you can see these are the i'll just zoom in here i'll just draw for example this is a drop so this is the cells so obviously here it will not uh, uh, move only the contact line will try to move in the forward direction as a contact line try to move so there will be retardation force at that contact line so for this cell where there is a fluid and air interface sorry a uh, gas and liquid interface for these cells i am trying to remove that energy which energy this adhesion force energy so i am trying to remove this adhesion force energy so it will not move freely in the forward direction because some amount of energy is been removed that energy i have given is through udf i will give it has given it through a udf you can see so this is the source term or the energy which i am trying to remove or the momentum energy what exactly it is a momentum energy what i am trying to remove at the fluid or so the gas and the liquid interface at the contact line so that source you can see here so this is the energy term what i am trying to remove and after removing that i am assigning it to the x momentum source so now you can see here zilly here so this is a droplet which is at 320 kelvin and the surroundings are at 340 kelvin and the wall is at 370 kelvin so it is dropped from a certain height so after it is getting dropped from a certain height so how this droplet behaves so that we will just uh, to check it in the next video so guys please do subscribe this video and encourage me for doing more number of videos and also please try to hit the bell icon if you have any doubts you can uh, contact to the mail id which is mentioned in the description thank you